by letting him go. So we go back and look at Amari Cooper and say, damn, uh-oh, uh-oh. in three and a half years, what? Uh-oh. What? Damn, Gina. Oh, oh, damn, Gina. Oh, damn. Hold it. Yeah. Da-da-dun, da-da-dun. Damn, Gina. Uh, do, do we have some more breaking news? Okay, so we just spent $50 more to keep D-Law, and we got rid of Amari Cooper. So there's got to be something else, and you have some insight maybe? Can, can you speak yeah. on it? Can you yeah, speak so on I this? Because I've been teasing this today. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I'm not going to give any names. So, you know, if, if, if the information is false, you know, which I don't think it is, you know, you guys, it can fall back on me, and I didn't want it. You know, to come from Mark to where everybody can blame Mark or whatnot, but hey, they can blame me. They can blame it. They can say they heard it on Joe Blue Sports Report. Yeah, but from my sources, uh, apparently there was a rift between Amari Cooper and, and Dak Prescott. Mm-hmm. And it, it's not just that though; it wasn't just that San Francisco game. It had been leading up to weeks, apparently. You know, and um, apparently that Black Kirk Cousins joke was, was was something that really was said. You know, now again, I wasn't there, but. You know, uh, the person that I got the information from got information from from people who were on the team and confirmed it. So, yeah, there might be people out there trying to save face. But when you look at the numbers, you look at how everything's matching up and you look at how Kellen Moore has got more power bringing in the Boise State receiver Mm -hmm. coach. um, Everything's adding up to there had to be a rift. And then I also heard uh, not too long ago on 105 through the fan. Uh, where Brian Broaddus and a couple of those guys were talking, and they, they were saying that it had to be personal with Amari Cooper as well because what they told Amari Cooper was that uh, he no longer fit in the offense. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's huge, you know. Um, now, you know, people people aren't going to say – like right now it's going to look like it's false, but I think once we uh, – once the Cowboys get the receiver – that they want, I think that all of that stuff will come out later hang, on. Hang on that's, for a second. Hold, hold on for a second here. I see 155 SU. SU. Is that short for sucks? Um, are you new here? I, I see you just have an F for a letter. Does that mean you're a failure? And you say that Dak Prescott is soft. You know what? I, well, let, let me let me welcome you to the channel, dude. Okay, this is your first time here. So let me let you know when you have a dumbass comment. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. All right. Now sit your ass down. You're going to say a guy that literally had his ankle decapitated and made his ass back is soft? Dude, get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to cuss, but that's what you deserve. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. All right? And that's right. This finger right here did it to you. Now, I'm sorry. Go on. (laughs) Yeah, so... uh. Now, with knowing that news, that's kind of where I'm in, where I'm at an issue with how, how the front office handled everything because they allowed a motion to handle a business situation when they're supposed to be business guys. Um, rushing Amari out of the door and just taking that deal, in my opinion, uh, was, was the wrong t- thing to do business-wise. Mm-hmm. Like what we're talking about, if you had to get him off the team, you didn't have to have him in the building. You could have cut him post June 1st. And handled yeah. it like adults. Yeah, um, they got rid of him fast. They lost leverage. Uh, they 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 devalued him to the media. But that, that's what they always do, and that, this is where they yeah, like to be so it. open. But you know, in retrospect, if we go back through, you know, I pointed out last week. I said, you know, when you think about this, when they were short on cash, they went to everybody that was a big contract, and they restructured. They did Tyron yes. Smith. They did Zach Martin. They did, you know, Dak, they did Zeke, they did D-Law. The easiest one to have done would have been Amari Cooper's. They never touched that one. So it's kind of like this is something that that maybe from the get-go, and and I believe, you know, the Cowboys are all sizzle. Amari Cooper doesn't sell jerseys. Not like CD, you know, CD with the, you know, like this. You know, you have the the Dez and dropping the ball and all that stuff. CD, I mean, Amari was just kind of like laid back. I met Amari Cooper. You had to check his pulse. But I think back to (laughs) Amari had cleanup surgery right after the end of the year, the year before. Dak Prescott had his leg decapitated and had a second surgery about the same time Amari did. Dak was there working out all offseason, getting out there. You remember Amari couldn't work out until, you know, after training camp actually started. Remember that? 
And if yeah, you if yeah. you follow him on Instagram, you'd always see him out with these like tight ass boots. I'm like, how the fuck you get them boots on? You know, and you, but your ankle is messed. Up. I mean, you know, you got heels. I mean, it's like look at these. I mean, you know, looking GQ and all that. And I'm like, but you can't work out. So this may yeah, be one of those riffs that Dax kind of like, dude. Fair, though. I'm just because saying. It's, it, it's not like Amari was ever out of shape. The only time he really was like gasping for air and stuff was was that the COVID? COVID. Yeah. Okay, but now, now here's the other part of it. Okay, so here it is. We're in a playoff run. You've already had COVID, right? Uh-huh. And here it is. You keep showing up at Duke basketball games on the sidelines, no mask. You're down, you know, in Mavs games and everything else. And it seemed like you basically screwed up. You remember the NFL fined him <coughs> $10,000 for uh, not doing COVID protocol. Right? Uh-huh. And this is after Jerry Jones kind of went off about him getting COVID and not getting the shot. Now you're out in public without wearing a mask and getting fined by the NFL. But CD, the guy that they want to be their number one, he well, was out there with him. Oh, don't don't forget about Diggs because Diggs he was, was out there true. with him. At, true, at, at true, the true, true. Uh, but if you, but now now Diggs if you go back to if you go if you go back to what Cole Beasley says, they get the ball to who they want to get to. Exactly. Uh, yeah, and that's kind of what I was going to get to with why I believe there was a rift between. Uh, Dak and Amari, because they were phasing Amari out. Um, on 105 through the fan, what they were saying is that um, they were going to try and get out of that contract regardless yeah. of, of, of whether whether um, whether he took the COVID shot or not. I think that that was their plan. Mm-hmm. So they were trying to phase him out, and that's the whole, you're not part of this offense, uh, or you're not a part of what, what we're trying to do with this offense. They were going to do that regardless. And yeah. if you're a, a guy that's competitive, and you, you're good at your job, and you realize that you should be getting targets and you're not, what are you going to do? You, you're you going to talk to your quarterback, right? If mm-hmm. your quarterback is obliged with whatever the game plan is or whatever they're coming up with, I mean, you're going to have some words for them. I've been on teams before where guys didn't like each other. It looked like he, it, 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 it looked like they were phasing the Mario. It looked like they purposely did it. I mean, I, I – Hey, for whatever to reasons, me, okay, yeah. I get it. No, it did. It did Des Bryant like, yeah. was saying the same thing. Des kind of touched on it. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Beasley touched on it. No. And yeah. if that's how the Cowboys want to do it, that's exactly why we don't win the games we need to win. But, but you know? it, did, it did look like after after it came back from the COVID protocol that they were trying to phase them out. Yeah, that, that was Jerry Jones having right, his right after the, the protocol. Right, and that was Jerry Jones was pissed off because – you know, he wasn't there for those two games. The third game, he wasn't really there. Yeah, and and you know what? Man, if you if you get on Jerry's wrong side, you know, he's a rich guy. He don't give a rat's ass. He, it's, he wants his way. But it's actually funny because, you know, the guys that they really want in there were playing. Yeah. CD was in there. CD got knocked out with a concussion in the, in the Kansas City game. Right. He still stunk, we still stunk it up. We yeah. still stunk that game up. Michael Gallup played that whole game. Michael Gallup had a good game against the Raiders, but for the most part, offensively, we really kind of struggled in those games. The Raiders game, we had numbers, but I think we left a lot of plays on the field. Awesome. Yeah. I think that game really that shouldn't have been close. Highest. I think we kind of played catch up. But. Right. Well, you know, the big problem, games. the big problem, of course, is still, you got to be able to run the football. Yeah, and we can't run the football anymore. Yeah. And Mark, are we going to sit here and say you're no longer part of the offense, but we couldn't run the football? Is that Amari's fault that no. we couldn't run the football? That was the yeah. offensive line. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Not even open. The uh, hold yeah. on. Da 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 da. Damn, Gina says, shout out to my drinking partner. Oh, oh <laughs> that's you. Now. Daniel must have kicked her to the curb. Oh shit! Okay, all right, I hear you. Okay, all right. <laughs> now I, so, forgive, I forgive you. I forgive you, Gene. I forgive you. Okay, I, all I right. won't bring it up no more. Right, you, you, hey, you got to understand now, DMV. You got to be careful because Gina's bringing some muscle here. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Make sound nice, check one. Make sound nice, check two. Make sound nice, check three. Are you? You don't want to hear him, you know, when he gets mad. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. The brother screwed us. He did. Yo, you mean, you mean how, the, the brother did screw us. Hey, 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 
Hey, you mean how when we was watching the Saints game, he was on the uh, the Bacardi was the Bacardi Gold over there? Oh yeah! Oh man! Don't hey! You wouldn't like it when he's been drinking hey. too. Shit! Hey, the brother did screw us because the rule okay. is the rule is you can't go more than five Ooh. no ten yards. Shout out! That's you know, you know what? I, I'm going to tell you. Us. I tell you what. I, there's a reason why I always do, and I haven't done it tonight because we have so much going on. But there's a reason why I always welcome all the ladies in the chat and do the recognition for them because most of the ladies know a lot more. Than some of these jackasses that are coming in yeah, here. They Army do. mom they Heather do. C. Yeah. Her comment was the elephant in the room was the O line, and the funny thing is, is the casual Dak Prescott hater doesn't seem to understand how the offense works. That if you don't have an offensive line blocking, yeah. that I don't care how good your quarterback is, well, you're not going to win. If you can't run the ball for more than fifty yards in a game. Chances are you're probably not going to win, especially when your offense is predicated on being able to run the football. Am I wrong? I mean, D, I'm not a coach, DMV, like you are. Am I wrong on that? I, no, I mean, you're not wrong, but I'm not also right either. But... You the question as to why we could run against uh, sorry teams down the stretch, but when it was somebody that was good and they were showing us a, a specific type of look, why we couldn't do anything with it. Better players. To me, I, I think that shows us more coaching than it is. Better players, players and, and better yeah. prepared teams on well, the other also side. Also, too, is right at the Denver game is when we got exposed. Well, uh, I agree the, with Michael. True. I agree with Michael. Because they, they found the form. Well, out. you know, here, here's here's where you, you look at a couple of things. First half of the season, you know, we were playing good teams from Tampa Bay and the Chargers and things like that. Yeah, when, we were. When, when yeah. we had Lyle Collins not out in the lineup, when Tyron Smith was healthy, because Tyron Smith was healthy, you know, until, was it the Denver game? Is that when he got hurt? I think it was before Denver. Uh, Once Tyron Smith got hurt and the offensive oh, line had oh, to yeah. shuffle. He got hurt twice. He yeah. got hurt twice, I think. But when he came back, he was never as good as he was the first seven games. I think it was the seventh game. But yeah, when Tyron right. Smith was playing good and Terrence Steele was on the other side, we could actually weather the storm of Connor Williams and Badish because yeah. Zach 